Hello guys, today I want to show you a practical example how you can use OpenAI API with Laravel and Livewire. And this comes as a part of our longer form tutorial for generally using third-party APIs. So we have more examples here like Stack Overflow, Currency and Weather, and one of the examples is OpenAI. The full long tutorial is available for premium members and in this video I will read you one part of it related to OpenAI. And this is our project a form with title and content and we will ask OpenAI to generate suggestions for alternative titles for the articles for better SEO or just for better phrasing. So you enter the title, you click alternative title, then it goes to API and returns with this list and then Livewire takes care of when you click something here then it fills in the value of that option. So the project setup is with some packages so we require composer live wire we start with laravel breeze but that doesn't matter that much in this case it's just for design and we use the package of openai php and its laravel version there's general php package and there's also laravel package more convenient to use in laravel projects then in env you need to specify api keys and get them from openai api and keep in mind that it's not free they have limited free tier but keep in mind that you can be charged for api calls then we create a live wire component create post which will be a full page component so we don't need laravel controller we just bind the route of create post to that live wire component and in the blade of that Livewire component, we build the form with Laravel Breeze blade components like input label, text input, and others. Wire submit would be method save in the Livewire component. And then we have also wire model title. And we also have this loading suggest titles. And we will get to that. Now, next thing Livewire component itself, we need to define different layout because it's different from Laravel Breeze. And we just render the view. Nothing really fancy here. And we work just with the title here. We didn't even implement the save method because it's Livewire topic. We just wanted to demonstrate the OpenAI API call. And this is our result the form without API call yet. Now, making the API call, first we build the button, wire click suggest titles. This would be a live wire component method, and this is how it looks now. After clicking the button, we need to implement the method suggest titles, and this is where we will call OpenAI API. And this is how it looks with that package. So basically, working with OpenAI API, as with majority of the APIs, external third-party APIs, is find the Laravel or PHP package, and then call its methods. If there is a Laravel PHP package, of course, not every APIs have such wrappers for PHP or Laravel. So yeah, in this case, we call the API via OpenAI chat, passing the messages of content. This is a blog post title, and we have this title here, then improve it for SEO and provide five alternative titles. So this is our prompt to the AI. And we also use try catch here. If something goes wrong, then we throw validation exception. And this is the response that we get from the API. This is the object, but what we care about is content. And here we have those alternative titles. And then our job is to parse that string in Laravel or Livewire or plain PHP. And we will do that in a minute. But now let's discuss this. In Livewire, there's wire loading, which will show loading only when suggest titles is activated. So this is kind of loading indicator while the API isn't getting back with the answer. And then the final part is having suggested title in the Livewire component. And after we get the result, we perform some string operations like result choices, message content, splitting the lines into array and this array is shown in the blade of live wire like this so if we do have suggested titles then for each and we have wire click on use title with specific key and how we use that title we just fill in this title property of live wire component which automatically fills the input text with another string manipulation that we need to remove double quotes after the dot so the result is from this to this title. So yeah, this is kind of a short version of how to use external API like OpenAI API with help of Livewire component to make it more dynamic in the form. What do you think about this example? Would you have done something differently? Let's discuss in the comments below. And again, the link to the full tutorial will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.